work, I work in the Northwest Coast as an archaeologist, and I'm really privileged to work with several different First Nations communities, so all my work is, is collaborative with First Nations, and it starts with the first introduction, hi, I'm Dana and I teach archaeology at SFU and this is what I can bring. Can we work together and what, what would you like out of this collaboration? What it comes down to often is about, again, human environmental interaction through time. My personal interest and in where my research seems to be going is taking that deep time knowledge and the deep time record that you get from archaeology and from talking to indigenous and local peoples and then using that to help inform management issues today and Aboriginal rights and titles issues today. So if we're looking at the long-term record of herring abundance and the DNA, the diversity of um, the genetics of herring through time and compare that 10,000 year old record of human use and find that people are using that as the number one species and then we compare that to today where herring are depleted and are, are, are on their way out what can we say about that long-term record? How can we use that to help inform today? What happens today in terms of modern conservation is that people have short memories. They remember how it was when they were little or maybe how they're, when their parents were little. And so you get this shifting baseline syndrome in management. Well, how it was in the 1970s is where we should be aiming for. As an archeologist, with 10,000 years of, of human environmental interactions, I go, are you kidding? 30 years? We can do way better than that. I, I already collaborate with a range of people in the faculty of environment and therefore their students and it means that students who are studying something ecological are getting insights into cultural sciences, to, to anthropology and archaeology where they wouldn't have that link otherwise. And so being in a faculty that has that as the goal, that integration, that interdisciplinarity, and of course the experiential learning, like that's, it's just the perfect place for me. And it'd be the perfect place for a lot of students because you just, you don't get that in an otherwise very big and sometimes um, not very personal environment.